Hello everyone, Happy New Year. I hope you're doing well. We've had quite a stormy winter so far and I haven't painted outside in so long. So I recently went for a little walk with my portable painter and my Etcher Slate Mini setup. And since it's my first session of the year and actually my first session in a while outside, I decided to keep it very simple. Or at least I tried to. <laughs> Whenever I pass this beautiful tree, I'm so drawn to how the shadows fall across the rough bark. And it's covered in all these twisted vines, which creates this really cool texture. It's a very complex subject, so the challenge was to simplify it enough, especially because I'm painting so small. But really, my main focus in this little study was the light. I really wanted to hone in on my strategy for painting all the beautiful shadow patterns and emphasizing the bright, warm winter light pouring through the forest. I definitely felt very rusty when I started this little sketch. It seems like even if I go only a week or two without painting outside, I almost have to relearn a lot of the things or at least get my brain used to observing something in person. It's so different than painting from reference photos. Painting from life requires my mind to take something that's 3D in front of me and flatten it, in addition to figuring out what colors to use and how to manipulate the paint in a pleasing way. There's just so many different challenging aspects to painting outside. The temperature was just above freezing, so I was also trying to paint sort of quickly because I usually don't like to stay in one spot for longer than 20 or 30 minutes, otherwise I just freeze. One thing that always surprises me about these little studies is how dark I need to paint the shadow shapes because usually I kind of chicken out and I don't go dark enough and then my lights and my especially the leaf highlights don't feel as bright. I probably should have done a little value study before I started painting but as I mentioned it was really cold so I kind of just wanted to dive in. So I just have to trust myself and make it a little darker than I think I need to, and usually that means it's dark enough. <laughs> After I finished this painting, I spent a while walking around the forest, contemplating how I might paint it differently and better, and as soon as I got home I knew I needed to do it again. I started with a couple teeny tiny little color concept sketches, and this is something I like to do using both reference and my plein air sketch. So I kind of combine 
what I saw in person with my internal vision and I play with a couple different color combinations before moving into the larger piece. My larger study isn't that much bigger, but it did allow a bit more space to play with a little bit of variety in the background and more detail on the tree. Something I felt was lacking in the initial plein air sketch was some sky color because one of the reasons it felt like such a beautiful sunny afternoon was seeing a bit of blue sky peeking through. By using these cooler kind of bluish purple grayish tones in the background I was hoping that it would help the warmer tones on the tree in the foreground stand out a little bit more. This year, I decided rather than make some New Year's resolutions or goals, I'm actually going to use a couple words to help guide me in my decision making. So the plan is to have all of my decisions align with these words. I'm entering my ninth year as a landscape painter, as a full-time artist, and I feel like so much has happened and I've grown so quickly over the years but I also feel really behind in reaching some of my own artistic goals. I'm not trying to rush into anything, it's just that the longer I do this, the more I see that the business side of things and making weekly YouTube videos, that all takes so much time that it's really hard to keep my own artistic practice consistent. So that's something I'm really striving towards this year to create more of a structure for myself in studying in addition to creating my videos and doing all of my Patreon stuff and, you know, everything that I do for my business. So here's to a new year, hopefully full of lots of adventures and learning and inspiration. I really can't wait to see what this year brings, and I look forward to sharing it with you all. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you next time. Take care.